The widely used and very popular form of poetry is sonnet. It is an Italian form of writing poetry. But after used by English poets, especially by Shakespeare and other important poets, it has become a significant part of English literature. Today in the video series on the forms of poetry, we are going to learn about sonnet, its major features and some important sonnets by English poets as well. Here on this online portal of coaching on UGC net set exam in the subject of English literature. I am Dr. Rajnikan Dodia, Assistant Professor of English. Welcome you all on my YouTube platform of learning English literature for UGC net set JRF PhD entrance purposes. So let's move on. The first uh, we learn about the definition, the concept about the sonnet. It is derived from an Italian word sonetto. Uh, it is a brief poetic form. It has 14 lines in it. It is a brief, a short poem with 14 lines. It came from Petrarch. Petrarch is a poet from Italy and he coined this uh, form of poetry. So it came from Italy. It came from Petrarch. In English, Thomas Wyatt introduced this form of poetry. Yes, Thomas Wyatt was the poet who introduced this form of poetry of sonnet in English literature. There are various themes of sonnet. For example, religious, patriotic, political, satirical, didactic. So these are the different themes on which the sonnets are written by different English poets. In the history of English literature. Types of sonnet. There are three different types of sonnets but two of them are major. The first one is uh, uh, basically the Petrarchan sonnet. Petrarchan sonnet is an Italian sonnet as we have discussed. Uh, it is made up of an octave and sestet. Octave means eight lines and sestet means last six lines. So there is a formula of sonnet writing in Petrarchan form. It is A B B A A B B A C D E C D E. So first four plus four. So total eight lines of octave and last three plus three. C D E C D E. Last six lines of sestet. So Petrarchan sonnet has a form of uh, one octave and one sestet. So octave means eight lines and sestet means last six lines. Then the next one is English sonnet. It is also called Shakespearean sonnet because Shakespeare, Shakespeare uh, wrote a lot of poetry in this style. Actually he has written around 154 sonnets in the history of English literature. Uh, it is made up of three quatrains and one rhymed couplet. It is made up of three quatrains and one rhymed couplet. Uh, here is the formula given uh, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. Yes, the last G and G is rhymed couplet actually and other three are quatrains A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D and E, F, E, F. These three are different quatrains. The Earl of Surrey was the person who developed this form of writing in English uh, poetry. But Shakespeare was the responsible person who made it perfect in English uh, poetry. And the th third one is irregular sonnet. Irregular sonnet is basically a combination of Petrarchan and English sonnet. The poets combined the two different forms of sonnet and uh, wrote different poetry that is irregular sonnet. Here we see that there are different great sonneteers who wrote in English poetry. Uh, these are uh, Surrey, Sidney, Spencer, Shakespeare, Milton, Wordsworth, Keats, Arnold, Hopkins, etc. And here some of the major sonnets are given. We are going to uh, learn about them in brief explanation. So let's see them. Let's learn about them. First one is the major one, Sonnets by Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote this 
poetry around 1590s but it was first printed in 1609 it was dedicated to mr w h it is an unknown person a young man to whom it was dedicated by shakespeare and it was published in 1609 its style is a b a b c d c d e f e f and g g so three quatrains are there and one rhymed couplet is there total 154 sonnets followed by a long poem a lover's complaint yes there is a long poem a lover's complaint by shakespeare in these sonnets uh 1 to 126 from uh first 126 sonnets were written for a young man often called the fair youth sonnets so it is uh, dedicated to the mr w s that young person and from 127 to 154 were written for a dark lady by shakespeare then the next one is astrophel and stella it was written by sir philip sidney it was composed around in 1582 and published after 9 years in 1591 after his death after sidney's death it was published a sonnet sequence containing of 108 sonnets and 11 songs yes friends astrophel and stella has total 108 sonnets 108 sonnets and uh, 11 songs are also included in this volume the finest sonnet sequence after shakespeare's sonnets yes friends it is considered as the uh, finest sonnet sequence the best sonnet Uh, sequence after shakespeare's 154 sonnets here aster means star phil means lover stella means star so the full definition of this terminology is astrophil as a star lover in this sonnet sidney used the petrarchan rhyme scheme the next one is amority amority was written by edmund spenser it is a sonnet cycle very widely famous sonnet cycle it was written in 16th century and first published in 1595 by william ponsby yes it was he was the person who helped spencer to publish this volume of poetry it has total 89 sonnets in one sequence so amority has 89 sonnets in one volume it was related to his marriage with elizabeth boyel yes spencer's marriage with elizabeth boyle the short poems are there in this poetry and uh, these short poems include anacreontics and epithalamian published uh, along with this volume yes friends so anacreontics and epithalamian two poetry are there uh, which are related to amority published along with amority by edmund spencer the next one is diana diana was written by henry constable one of the first english sonnet sequences it was one of the first english sonnet sequences it has 23 different sonnets published by richard smith in 1592 richard smith helped henry constable in publishing these sonnets in 1592 after 2 years new five sonnets published by henry with sir philip sidney in 1594 his four sonnets were there which were prefixed to sidney's apology for poetry then the next one is delia delia was written by samuel daniel it is a first known work by daniel in 1592 yes it was published in 1592 delia is a cycle of sonnets yes friends this is a volume this is a cycle of different sonnets and appeared in 1592 it was dedicated to the lady mary countess of pembroke yes uh, this is a lady the person which whom this sonnet sequence this sonnet cycle was dedicated by samuel daniel the lady mary countess of pembroke the next one is sonnets by john milton 
sonnets uh, written by Shakespeare as well and also by Milton with the same title. But uh, Milton wrote only 24 sonnets. Among these 24 sonnets, Milton addressed the one sonnet, number 16 sonnet, to the Lord General Cromwell. These sonnets were appeared in the volume of poetry titled as Poems etc. on several occasions in 1673. This volume also included a tract on education by Milton. Yes, friends. So, 24 sonnets by Milton and one tract on education included in it. The next one is John Dunn's Holy Sonnets. John Donne, as we all know that he is considered as the great metaphysical poet of his time. He wrote these holy sonnets. These are also known as divine meditations or divine sonnets. It was published in 1633 after John Donne's death in Songs and Sonnets. It was the volume named Songs and Sonnets where it was published first in 1633. There is a sequence of 19 different sonnets in which 12 were published in Songs and Sonnets and 7 sonnets were published after some years in different volume. There is Love for God, Doubts, Fears and Spirituality were described in these holy sonnets by John Turn. The next one is House of Life by Dizzy Rossetti. It was written during his whole life, during the tenure of his whole life. The first sonnet appeared in 1847 and last one in 1881. First appearance titled as Youth and Change with around 59 sonnets. Yes, friends. The first publication of his sonnets was titled as Youth and Change and it has around 59 sonnets. The second part was published with 42 sonnets entitled as Change and Fate. The final version is called a sonnet sequence. All the sonnets were published in his last book Ballads and Sonnets in 1881 and it has 102 different sonnets and it is titled as house of life by dizzy rossetti the next one is sonnets from the portuguese by elizabeth barrett browning this this is a collection of 44 love sonnets by, uh, by elizabeth browning for her husband robert browning so, total 44 love sonnets are there. It was first published in 1850 and it is originally called Sonnets from the Bosnian. Yes, friends, it was originally called, before its publication, it was called Sonnets from the Bosnian. But after Browning's suggestion, she changed it to Sonnets from the Portuguese. So, Browning suggested her to change the title. And there is one famous line, it is, how do I love thee, let me count the ways. And it occurs in, it comes in 43rd sonnet, the sonnet number 43, it comes in 43. The next one is Modern Love. Modern Love, the sonnet sequence was written by George Meredith. George Meredith published these sonnets in 1862. It is a collection of 50 sonnets having 16 lines in each. In each sonnet, there are 16 lines. It is about the failure of his first marriage. Yes, friends, George Meredith's failure in his first marriage is the theme of these sonnets. There are four different characters in the sonnet sequence. It is a husband, a wife, another man and another woman. So, four different imaginary people here in these sonnet sequence and the major themes of these sonnets are unhappy marriage feminism and extramarital affair on which these sonnets are written by george meredith so friends that's all for sonnet form of writing poetry in english literature 
if you have any query or confusion related to the video and about UGC net exam you can comment below this video you can also contact me you can call me on what's or whatsapp me anytime regarding UGC net exam queries in this video in the next video I am going to explain other significant forms of poetry like ode, ballad, lyric etc. Thanks for watching. Have a good time and Jai Hind.